to submit your Overleaf project or research paper on Archive. For those of you who don't know what Archive is, Archive is a very popular platform among researchers and scientific community. You can submit and publish your research work on Archive. So in case if you're a researcher and you haven't published your work in a conference or a journal, what you can do is you can submit your work on Archive and publish it on Archive. And a cool thing about Archive is that you are able to reach a lot of readers around the world, a scientific community around the world, and not only that, people who actually read your research work can refer to it, can cite it in their research work. As a researcher, I had to face some issues when making my first submission on Archive. So that is the reason I'm making this tutorial. It is a step-by-step -step guide for first-timers to make a submission on Archive. So let's start without a delay. As you can see, I'm already logged in into my Archive account and I already have research publication on Archive. But for the sake of this tutorial, I will be making a new submission. So first of all, I'll click on Start New Submission. So the first step, you verify your contact information, you check this box, then you go to submission agreement, you check this box that you have read and you agree to the terms and conditions of archive. You do the same with this box here, scroll down, accept and return to submission, then you come to authorship. So if you are submitting as the author of the article, you choose the first option. In case you're not the author of the article, but have obtained pre-authorization from the author to submit it on their behalf, you choose the second option. In my case, since I am the author of the article, I will be choosing the first option. Then we need to choose a license. Now several licenses are available on Archive. A license basically gives Archive the rights to publish and distribute your article. I will not be going into the details of all these licenses, you can click on them and read uh, their detail if you want to. To keep this video simple and to the point, I will be selecting the most basic license, the first one here, that is archive.org perpetual non-exclusive license to distribute this article. This is the minimal rights required by Archive to publish and distribute your article. Moving on towards Archive Subject and Class. Now you, you need to ensure that you select the best fitting category for your submission because if you don't, it can delay the listing of your submission and you don't want that. So in my case, my article belongs to computer science category and the subject class of artificial intelligence. Then I click on continue and then we arrive at the submission files page. Here you can see we have a list of acceptable submission formats listed in order of preference and on the top you can see that latex is the first preference now people who work in, on overleaf know that overleaf uses latex so what we need to do is download our latex source files from overleaf and submit them on archive so let's head to overleaf i have a sample research paper here prepared to submit on archive. So what I do, I'll click on submit here. And once the list is displayed, I will browse through a list of journals and websites where I can submit and publish my research work. And I'll try to find archive, here it is. Then I'll click on submit your paper to the archive. After that, you select this option download project zip with submission files including the .bbl file. Once you click on this option, a .zip file containing all the source files you need to make a submission on archive will be downloaded to your PC. Since clicking on this option recompiles this project and takes some time, I have already downloaded the zip file I need to make the submission. So let's head back to archive. Here I have the downloaded file. I'll just upload it here. This will take a little while. One thing that I would like to highlight here is that most of the people 
will encounter errors during the uh, processing of the, these files. So once you have uploaded these files, what Archive does is that it uses its own built-in Latex compiler to compile your files and check if there are no errors and it processes okay or not. So in case if you encounter any error while uh, uploading your file or while your files are being processed, make sure to drop a comment below this video and I'll try to resolve your issues. So here we can see that our files have been successfully uploaded. So now we click on continue process files. Now what Archive is doing, it is processing our uploaded files and our submission processed okay. So we're good to go. We click on continue. So let's add a title. Since this is a tutorial, I will keep it simple. Let's just keep it my paper. That's the author one. Then we have author two. And then we need an abstract. I'll just go back to Overleaf and copy the abstract I have here to the archive. Let's copy it and let's paste it here. There are more fields over here. There are comments, there are report number, there's journal reference, there's DOI, there's ACM class, there are MSC class. So you can add all this additional information if you want, but the compulsory fields are the ones on the top. These top three fields within a steric are the compulsory fields. Once you've added them, you can proceed uh, with your submission. So for now, to keep it simple, I'll just save this and continue. Okay, so now we have arrived at the final page. So what you need to do here is that you need to check your submission. So you can see your abstract here and archive also gives you an option to add additional categories. So this is a useful feature since your article can then be found in multiple categories that best fit it. So I will add another category, computer science. Let's see. I'll add it into machine learning category and I'll add this. So here we can see that we now have a primary category that was artificial intelligence that we chose in our previous step. And now we have also a new category, the machine learning category. So after we are done, you must preview your article before submitting. You click on view article. This will open a new tab with your uh, research work or your project, the PDF version of your project. Let's wait for it to load. Okay, so once it has loaded, you can just take a look at your uh, research paper, how it looks, how it will basically look on archive. And this paper looks fine to me. So I'll go back on archive and then you need to refresh this page because now you've viewed the article. So now you can see that you have already previewed your article PDF. You can preview it again using this link. So. Now what I need to do is simply click on submit and I'll be done. I will not be submitting this since this uh, was a sample paper that I, will, I created just to create this tutorial. So these are basically the steps you have to follow to submit your Overleaf project or paper on archive. In case you have any questions or if you encounter any problems, please drop a comment uh, in the comment section of this video. If you found this video informative, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. Thank you.